Welcome back to the Banner Saga 2. Gotta go see a man about a barn. And open up our secret cabinet. Are we actually gonna open it? Oh no, we did. Hey, good news everybody! It's the Thunderer. So we... We're kind of the, the funeral procession. interesting. I am sure if Juno, all Juno wanted to do was dispose of the Thunderer's body, he would not have asked us to do this very specific thing. There has to be something much more to it. Maybe she knew that Zephyr and somebody else were in this direction and that they would, uh, you know, Remedy the situation, let's say. He's not actually dead, he's just convinced that he's dead. He's very depressed. I don't know living is the word for it. They exist forever. Uh, do I have to explain all this to you children? So she seems to be willing to work with us. I don't actually know if this is uh, Zephyr is a she or a he. It's hard to tell. It's probably the game probably told me this before, but I forgot. Folk up, please. Tell her to leave the people. What do you mean? Okay, so... Basically... We just dump everybody else here and then run away ourselves. And that's a good question. I mean... The Volcar are a strange bunch, but she does seem to be willing to, uh, to help us get out of the situation. So let's... You know, we are a bad boy, but our first priority is to make sure that, you know, our people are taken care of. Gotta take care of our people first. Then we can, you know, take our axes and slash everybody else, but the family business. Boca, please. We're not thieves. We're mercenaries. The whole entire storyline at this point has been kind of about our honor code. That's what the ravens are about. You know, you, uh... 
You are not a loading screen. This loading screen. Uh oh. Okay. Whew. Thought I crashed. Before we go help the houses, let's go help. Let's go check the market real quick. I think we bought something last time, but I don't remember. All right. Are we... is that what we're interested in? I mean, we are interested in any valuables we can find, but not at the price of our lives. really want to fight in here. If I die up there, the torch will burn out, the food will run out, and then the real horror will start. Uh... You know, let's end the game. Cool. See, you did it. You don't need our help. This mine is actually quite sp spacious around here. I'm very surprised. Let's check our heroes real quick. I should probably do the training stuff, but I'm never gonna remember to do it. And the reason I'm never going to remember to do it is because I'm terrible at it. Alright. Who do I want to promote? Okay, I can't afford anybody who's 6. But I can afford people who are 5. Although... What is she... Amanda creates... A magically infused zone from which concentrated area of power form. Anyone who steps in to one's concentration receives a burst of power for one turn. Hmm. It's random. Okay, and she can mend. You or she, I don't know. What about you, Nikos? I don't trust this guy. All he can do is mend. Uh, I think I want to, I want back in here. Or Bercy. But Bercy is a Warhawk. That's right. What I would really prefer is to have another tank unit, not a Warhawk. Okay. We'll keep him in. He might be useful. But we'll, we'll change him with Spar. Ollie, let's go ahead and promote Ollie. We need him to be a little more useful than he is right now. Okay, so he he's actually a quite interesting unit because he has offensive and defensive abilities. I think what I would do now is actually max his attack because. He is a def defensive unit just by existing, and he's a ranged unit. So, although his range is not very good, 
that makes them much more useful than having armor break because one and two it's really not that enough to do too much uh, make too much difference i think although i do want to get somebody to eight so i can use some of these items here all right let's chat Are there dwarfs? Well, I am very honored that you showed me uh, your secret place. But I... I don't know if I know you well enough to appreciate it right now. Interesting. It's the sewer system of Banner Saga. Hey, it's like almost almost like I'm playing a JRPG. I mean, this is the same question, right? Manahar. What? I don't remember where Manahar is. But. Oh, okay. Manahar is the council uh, of the Menders. One week. Hmm. I mean, you know, I I'm a career man. I do enjoy working. I'm not working, so I never have to work. You know, but uh, I can't say no to such a gracious offer. Alright, let us... So we're going to spend one week on this little journey of ours. So let's get started. Maybe we'll run into a fight or two. <laughs> I'll kill anyone that leaves the path. Oh, cool. That's fine. Less mouth to feed. Dude. I don't know, man. This guy, uh... Yeah, let's say he has one too many prescriptions. Okay, so he's a thief. Hmm. I am interested. How can I be more interested? Ditch is walking alongside a woman you've never seen before.
Quit worrying about some human women. Okay, let's ask Foka. This ditch guy, I am um, not so sure. Is he kind of some kind of a, you know, an outcast mender or something? Uh, we don't. Yeah, this is the best option. We're over here. You find them. We need to keep. I really want to keep moving. But I feel like if we try to look for them, uh, I'm not here to babysit anybody. I'm here to get this freaking coffin to where you want me to go. Nobody promised you this. I promise you I'm gonna take this freaking coffin over to Manahar, and anybody who gets left behind is left behind. Having visions of me being asunder, huh? That probably isn't something that I should be telling her. But she is generally concerned about us. We're not the exact kind of person. We're gonna be a man. Well, if you don't find water, you're useless to me anyway. Yeah, we've seen this before. The menders can create bridges out of nothing. Reinforcing them is... Should be child's play for them. Yeah, zoom in. Yes. I am awaiting the bad news down here. Something's gonna go terribly wrong. We're probably gonna run into that big earth snake or something. And he's be like, hey, old friend. The Bellower. Haven't seen you in a long time. How do you feel? I've slept in caves like this for entire winters. But there's something about this place. Something old. Unfamiliar. I don't like it. But I don't like all these humans on the verge of panic either. Maybe these dwellings up ahead will calm them down. Dwellings, huh? People who live down here are obviously good news. Oh my goodness. We found a we found singularity, everybody. Hey, guess what this is? It's a band gap. Yeah, let's let's all stop and admire this fantastic piece of rock. 
that looms ahead of us. The Valka know almost nothing about this ancient race's culture. Hmm. There's some sort of a progenitor race of something. That's not. Oh, this is a godstone. Okay. Quit being cheeky. So she just told us something about control and that we shouldn't uh, exercise way too much. Which I wonder if it's a direct hint at this particular choice here. This is what you normally do to exercise control over the entire situation. It's like, stop! Let's see what happens. It is interesting. A gem of Vesna. Okay. Let's check our heroes tab real quick to see what this gem does, and then we'll end this episode here. Plus three strength, talent ranks, minus four will. 2x strength damage for 20% and plus 2 strength. That's actually a fantastic item. The willpower stuff is a little bit annoying, but if I have the proper morale or if I finally learn how to use spar correctly, then that's usually not a big deal, especially in the beginning of the fight. Um, so we'll see. I don't have anybody who's... Okay, here's Stitch. The tracker becomes invisible to his enemy. He waits in the right moment. Okay, so by attacking, he is able to take one damage where he ignores armor. Interesting. And he can pass anybody. What else can he? He's not. He's actually pretty good in terms of the ability to break armor. But I wonder how well I can use him. Um, because he's not particularly fantastic at any one area. But he can be very useful in disabling somebody. And if he's invisible, my guess means that they can't attack him either. So he kind of could go to the back of the ranks and then immediately take out a target because he ignores all the armor. And then since their you know, health is very low, they can't really do damage to him. Can I reuse this? Okay. That's quite interesting. Anyway, we will find something for him to do in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.